I'm hitting record before I share theories. So I think that the storyteller is that dragon motherfucker. But what was happening was Bazella was fighting for the town overall, and he was fighting for control of the town. Mm. And uh, the witches aren't actually witches, but I don't know if I can, like, he has some kind of tempering power to turn them into, like, his uh, people who do his bidding. But it could just be the storytelling power to make them do that anyway. Who knows? I sure don't. I'm just making up shit. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to 4 Pixels. Coco and Moon are here, and we are continuing Professor Layton versus Phoenix Rice. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> 10 out of 10. All right, we got new on Carmine. Who would have you want me to read the red was... text? Yeah. Investigation. Carmine had been visiting the Great Archive to investigate one of Labyrinthia's secrets. <gasps> yep, there it is. There you go. <laughs> I did not force that, it just happened. That secret being the ancient remains found hidden in a room beneath the library. Who would have thought that the secret Carmine was after was the mural of the great witch Bazella under the library? Underground mural hidden beneath the great archive were ancient remains in which was enshrined an ominous wall painting depicting the town being consumed by fire. When was this painting created and by whom? Was it by chance that we found this wall painting? Or we, in fact, led to it by someone. Video games. <laughs> Whew! It's much more relaxing here, isn't it? Felt so intense and claustrophobic down there. Yes, it certainly did. Today has been full of surprises. Not only did I meet up with you two again, but we also found that mirror in the library. It seems that this town really does hold a mysterious secret, doesn't it? Mm, what should we do now? Hmm. I'd certainly like to hear more about this magic. We've been in here for quite some time. It must be getting late. It's probably best if we wind up our investigating for today and take a rest. You must both be feeling tired. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'd be happy to do a little more investigating with you two. But I have an errand to run before it gets too late. I'm still up for investigating further! Whatever the puzzle, I'm ready to solve it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Luke, I could hear your tummy rumbling from here just now. Well, I can't pretend I'm not a little hungry. If you haven't arranged accommodation yet, why don't you both stay at the bakery? There's a room free, so I'm sure it'd be alright. And Mrs. Eclair would love to have you. What do you say? Well, if you put it like that, we'd be delighted to stay. Thank you, Miss Bella. And there's all that delicious bread, too. Mmm, I'm looking forward to it already. I want to eat bread. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Layton, do you have to be going? Yes. Sorry for all the trouble we put you to. Not at all. 
Although I still can't get you can't get used to there being a secret room under the library. It's been a while since I last met someone capable of solving my puzzles. And as I promised, you have my permission to borrow the Grand Grimoire. If you have any need for it in the future, please do drop by and let me know. Thank you very much, Miss Mystery. It's been a pleasure. Oh, there's just one more thing. I have all of Labyrinthia's puzzles stored here in this library. As you continue with your investigations here in Labyrinthia, there will likely be puzzles that you cannot solve or which you do not find. Such puzzles will come to me. Any time you wish to solve such puzzles, just visit me and I will show them to you. Puzzles that we cannot solve or do not find, you say? Very well. Then I look forward to seeing you again. I'll be waiting. Please take care on your way home. It's already become dark out there. Can't believe they just became best friends. <laughs> And if I remember rightly, the storyteller's latest story did mention the evening. You take care too. Until we meet again, Miss Mystery. Oh, we got- we just get to take- alright. Okay. Special book <laughs> that you said we couldn't take out- alright. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's already this dark out here! I didn't realize we were gone so long. It looks as if it must have been raining up until a moment ago. The ground is still wet. Yes, and that reminds me of what Mrs. Leclerc said before we left. She said you might want to hurry. It looks like it might rain at any time. Let's get a move on. You too, Spiller. Uh, hey, where is she? That's strange. She's not here. She said she had to run an errand, guys. I wonder where she could have gone. Perhaps she's still in the Great Archive. What are you doing with books outside, sir? Slowly does it, step by step. Oh, are you two still here? And you let me through, I have to lock up. Hello, Dewey. Have you seen a Spella? If you're looking for a Spella, she left while you were still talking to Miss Mystery. Eh, I wonder why. She said something about having to buy some milk, even though it was still raining. Ah, yes. I do remember Mrs. Eclair asking her to get some milk for the bakery. It was raining, you said? Yes, it started raining about the time you all went down into that library basement. When Espella left just now, it did look as if the rain was about to stop. Ah, yes, she left a message for you. She said to go back without her. But she didn't have to go alone, especially in the dark. I'm sure she'll be fine. If it's the only milk she needs, then she can get it at the market. It's not far, so she should be back soon. If anything, I'd be more worried about you two being the ones in danger. You know, in the story, it's that there were two companions. If your work here is finished, then I suggest you both go home. I don't want to get caught up in anything. Luke, why don't we head back to the bakery and wait for a spell of there? I suppose so. I guess she'll be alright. Right? Give me more hint coins. I don't care that I've already looked. <laughs> How dare you deny me hint coins. Professor, I smell freshly baked bread. wonder if that could be Mrs. Eclair's work. Let's go inside. Hmm. Yes, we could. 
Although, we could also take a walk around the town at night. Clayton, you are the type to get mugged, I swear to god. Hm. If there's nothing else you'd particularly like to see, perhaps we should head back in. Okay, it's so okay. Let's see what he has to say. Evening, gents. Isn't Espella with you? Do you know Espella? Do I know her? There isn't a person in town who doesn't know Espella. I didn't realize she was so famous. I've known some ignorant people, but you two really do take the biscuit. If you knew her better, then I doubt you'd be spending so much time with her. What's that supposed to mean? Spiller is a lovely person. I don't know how you can say that. Personally, I don't enjoy talking about her in that way either. Tell me more, homie. Okay, well then, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going back in. Pretty sure I got everything in this area. Oh, wait, how do we get in? Oh, there we go. Oh, bread! <laughs> bread. Bread! <sighs> uh, I don't remember if you or I read this one. I think it was you. Was it? I can't remember. <laughs> I swear it was you, because I remember she was yelling at Feeny. <laughs> oh, welcome back. I've prepared the evening meal already. Wow, it looks great! Oh, soup. Hang on, where's Espella? I'm afraid we were separated when we went to get that milk. When she went to get that milk. Has she not come back yet? Oh dear. Maybe I was asking too much of her. My apologies. I should have stopped her had I had... I would have stopped her had I had the chance. It's nothing you need to worry about, Mr. Layton. That girl knows her way around. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Let's go ahead and eat while waiting for her. I wanna eat that soup and bread. Mm-hmm. I love it when we all get to eat together. Meals are much more enjoyable that way. Oh, I've never had bread and jam that tasted this good before. I hope a spell gets back soon. Oh yeah! You guys went out to the Great Archive with her, didn't you? Did you find what you were looking for? Well... It's a bit of a mystery, really. What do you mean? In truth, we went there to investigate the mystery that is Labyrinthia. However, what we found instead was quite the puzzle. Oh... Right. A puzzle. Huh. How about you get stuck here? You can do puzzles. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get the impression puzzles are pretty popular in this town. Do you not know what a puzzle is, Nick? Not that I know exactly. Well, we spend all our time baking. It's not really the kind of thing we're supposed to know about, I guess. Why are you talking about it like it's something... <laughs> it's, it's a cosmic power, apparently, in this one. <laughs> Indeed. It appears the two of you are a little unsure about the concept of puzzles. Are they okay? This book is giving them major brain damage. Say, Mr. Layton, do you think you could give us a Puzzles 101 crash course? I'm kind of curious. Oh, he's gonna end your fucking life, Maya, run. <laughs> <laughs> it would be my pleasure, Miss Faye. But rather than explaining it in words, I believe actually trying your hand at a puzzle would be far more rewarding. Here, I'll give you both a simple example to think about. And this is how Leighton and Phoenix get in a fistfight. Yes. That's what leads to it. 
<laughs> oh, turns not the into a fighting again. game. <laughs> it really should be. Now then. Here we have two long loaves of bread placed side by side. You'll notice that they form the number 11. Do you see what I mean? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh yeah, I get it. So that's what a puzzle is. No, Maya. <laughs> not quite, Miss Faye. The puzzle is what follows next. What I'd like you to try is... I'd like to see if you can change this into a number lower than 11. A uh, lower number? Well, how about if I take one of the lows? However, the one condition is that you must add another loaf of exactly the same type. You need to add another loaf? Even though we add a loaf, the number has to be lower. I think I'm beginning to see what you mean by puzzle. Eh? Wait, I, I think I've got it. I might just be a baker, but I bet I have the right answer. That's an H. <laughs> if I place the extra loaf sideways like this, then one minus one equals zero. We're not talking. Amy, we're not talking about math. Oh, give me a break, Nick. That's totally the letter H. We're trying to solve a puzzle here, not what a spelling bee. Oh, come on. I can't be the only one that sees it 1 minus 1, right? Turn it in, turning it into a matter of arithmetic is certainly an interesting approach. You, uh, think so? Most certainly. And that's precisely the kind of flexible thinking needed for solving puzzles. Now, let's think again. Take a seat and leave this to a pro, Nick. How about this? You just take this new loaf and... Ta-da! Maya. <laughs> now that! One minus one. Maya. <laughs> she just did that as an excuse to eat half the loaf. Hey, eating is cheating. Really? Because it feels more like winning to me. <sighs> You're full of surprises, Miss Faye. I didn't expect that kind of innovation. <laughs> I solved the puzzle and enjoyed the bread. Win win, baby. But didn't Mr. Layton tell us at the start that we needed to add another loaf of the exact same type? Huh? Seriously? That's right, unfortunately. I'm afraid I can't accept this as a solution to the puzzle. Well, alright, but... Is there really another, better solution? Well, what do you think? Can either of you think of a different solution? I I'm drawing a blank. I guess this kind of thing just isn't for me. You both came up with such creative answers. I'm sure you'll be solving puzzles in no time. But now, it's time for the solution. The important thing in this puzzle solution is the angle of the, lo of the loaf that is added. If the new loaf is placed upright like so... Oh, I get it. It's the number 1.1, .1, right? Clayton, that's cheating. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it is, because you can't tell that it's a loaf of the same type. <laughs> I mean, if you see it, we can't I see can't it. see it from the front. We just... 
I don't believe it. He's cheating. <laughs> the, like, grapes will be dribbling down. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's right. That's a lot lower than 11. Exactly. When solving puzzles, there is never just one correct method. I gotta tell you, Leighton, this is the stupidest fucking way to do an this puzzle. You know why? You don't need to add a, th a third loaf into the equation. You just need to be like, okay, rearrange them to make a number lower than 11. And Phoenix still would have been confused. He doesn't <laughs> know math. It's essential to think flexibly and try many means to solve it. Sometimes, critical, critical thinking is the key to success. Right. I see what you mean. These puzzles are really something else. I'm full of bullshit. <laughs> well, if I see another puzzle like this, I'd still rather eat my way to the solution. Hmm. You know, I don't think I'm cut out for brain-busting bread puzzles like this. I'll stick with a good old regular bread, thanks. That's because we're ace bakers. I guess we're better suited to using our hands than our heads. Can't believe this book, like, assigned them bakers at birth. Like, fucking hilarious. Looked at their their really nasty, brains. Honestly. They fucking they looked they looked at the the brain going on between the two of them, and then it's just like, no, we're not making them into lawyers again. Here, it would be pointless. I can't believe this game is insulting bakers that badly. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tori. You need to know math, and Phoenix and Maya clearly do not. <laughs> Is that so? In truth, I can't help but feel you're both a little out of place as bakers, if you'll pardon my saying so. Naturally, I won't force puzzles upon you. Just my protege. <laughs> but if either of you should be interested, I would heartily recommend giving puzzle solving a try. Professor, right now there's something else we all need to try. Miss Eclair's, er, uh, Mrs. Eclair's freshly baked bread is getting cold. And I'm sure it tastes better hot. Oh dear, so it is. You know how I can get when it comes to puzzles. Yeah, pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat this bread fresh, right out of the oven! Burn your mouth off! Well, young man, I must say it's a pleasure to have someone show such appreciation for my baking. When it comes to your bread, Mrs. Eclair, there's no limit on how much I could eat! <gasps> Luke! You... you shouldn't have said that! Huh? My, my, aren't you a darling? Well, in that case, I suppose I'll just have to bring out my special reserve. Hold on a moment. I'll just go and fetch it. R right, er, I think it's time to start preparing tomorrow's bread. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. I'm sure it must be that time already. <laughs> a big ass loaf, isn't it? Professor, wh what was that all about? I'm not entirely sure, but I do seem to be struck by a sudden sense of impending doom. Sorry to have kept you waiting. There you go, have at it. But be warned, I won't take kindly to any leftovers. This is Kia. <laughs> Kia just makes a giant bread loaf and puts it in front of you and is like, here, I made this with a loaf. And also some bird feathers. Fucking fool doesn't know I devour it all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this loaf! Wait, where did those two go? Miss Maya! Mr. Roy! Get wrecked, son. Luke, 
It would appear that we have been left to tackle this particular task alone. It was nice give, knowing you. Give me jam, give me butter, give me soup. Mm-hmm. Whew! I'm stuffed! Hmm. I believe this must be the most bread I've ever eaten in my life. Wait a second! I've just realized we finished eating, but a spell still isn't back yet. She went to the market, didn't she? Perhaps we ought to go and... Oh my, customers at this late hour. I'm sorry, but we're closed. Oh, oh right, I was the nice... That's him! That man over there! So he's the one, is he? Just a minute! What do you think you're doing barging in here like this? Stand aside, madame. This is a matter of urgency. What are you going to do? You there, porcupine head. You're coming with us. Huh? P porcupine head? You don't mean me, do you? Who else in this room fits that description? Mm, certainly you'd appear to be alone on this particular front. Ugh, I wish I had a top hat too right about now. Enough of your idle chit-chat. Time to get going. Huh? What do you mean? Well, it should be quite obvious. You're coming to the court, of course. The... court? What? Mr. Wright, what did you do? Yeah, Nick, what did you do? I, I didn't do anything. The only thing you could accuse me of is making bread that's too good to eat. <clears throat> this man is not the one who's on trial. In that case, why is Mr. Wright being made to go to court? That's simple, because the girl has requested him, of course. God damn it, Espello, how do you keep getting into these situations? Girl? What girl? Naturally, the girl facing trial for this evening's crime. That heinous witch. Mrs. Spella Cantabella, no less. Ah, uh, here goes. Yes. <laughs> Coco. I cannot wait to see what the trials in here are like. They're so fucking good. Oh, apparently we missed fucking four? All right. Should... Yeah, I want to save. Should, should we do those before we go to the court? Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to. We'll see. Oh, so I completely lost... No fuss, and we don't want to hurt you, all right? Yeah, we just want your money, that's all. And you'll give it to us, won't you, without any fuss? That's what they deserved. <laughs> Get immolated, bench. Chapter two, the fire witch. Hmm. 
Hmm. Rat. Yum. Excuse you. <laughs> Do not be rude to the rats. What? What? What is this place? This, the room is lit, but it's somehow dark. The atmosphere feels heavy. Nick, what are we doing in a place like this? How should I know? Just a couple of bakers, but I don't think they brought us here to make bread. Yikes, is it me or is that guard staring daggers at us right now? Uh, probably Espella? Mr. Wright, Maya! Uh, Espella, what exactly is going on? I'm sorry. I was the one who sent for you both. You sent for us. I... I'm being put on trial. Wait, what? What happened? I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on. I... I didn't do anything wrong. I couldn't possibly murder anyone. M murder I beg you, Mr. Wright. Please, I need your help. Just one more time. Huh? You need my help? What could I possibly do? Espella, I'm just a baker. The only thing I know about law is how not to get on the wrong side of it. You sure about that? Uh-huh, <laughs> that's that sounds fishy. Let me just go pawing through all this evidence. Yeah. Edgeworth has wait. like a huge case file on you, dude. Come on. <laughs> and he cannot wait to mm -hmm. persecute. Wait, hold on a sec. Espella. What did you just say? You said you needed Nick's help. Just one more time? One more time. I'm not quite sure myself, but when the knights came and took me, a vision suddenly appeared in my mind. It was Mr. Wright. He was fighting for me, defending me. That brave blue figure. He was clear as day. I was fighting for you? No way, that's impossible. I mean, it's like I already said. I'm just a baker. I have a hard enough time ruling dough, let alone defending someone in court. I thought the same thing too at first, but... I don't think that's quite true. You and Maya, at some time, somewhere... You helped me. You fought for me as a defender. Defender? What's wrong, Nick? I wish I knew, Maya, but... Hearing Espella mention a defender... I can't help but feel something inside of me just burning at the mention of it. I see a silver-haired figure... across from me... shouting obscenities. A gaudy magenta. And a cravat? Accused. Defender. It is time. Head forth, you two. Head forth? Um, where are we going exactly? To the courtroom, in which today's trial will be taking place. The Chamber of Fire. To Chamber? Of fire? Make haste! If you are but a moment late, a guilty verdict will be delivered immediately. What? No way! Mr. Wright. I... 
I'm truly sorry, Mr. Wright. I know this is all so sudden. It's a lost cause, isn't it? Well then, let's head inside, Aspella. Huh? This overwhelming pressure, it feels so familiar somehow. Almost like deja vu. M Mr. Wright! Let's go, Maya. Maybe we'll get a better idea once the trial gets underway. All right, let's do it, Nick. You know, as much as I, I, I'd love to shit on, on Phoenix, I also love this man so much. Right? Like... What is this heat? It's like an oven in here. I will now pronounce the verdict. This court finds the accused guilty of being a witch. <laughs> Oh my god. Please, please, I beg you to reconsider. I'm not. Witches are to be cast straight into the hellfire. Game, what the fuck? What? No. So, this is. Yep. The, the witch is cool. Oh, that was a little god. girl. That was just a kid. <laughs> Oh, yo, 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 Jesus! <laughs> this game does not fuck around. <laughs> no, what the hell? So, uh, how are you feeling? Well, uh, yeah, going back to what I was saying before, like, I think if I was in this position, like, I had no memories of anything, and mm -hmm. someone asked me to do this, I, I would be too sort of stunned and terrified to even act. Like, even if I wanted to help them, I just don't think I would even be able to go through with it. So the fact that he's just like, well, uh, we're probably fucked, but I'm going to do my best anyway. It's just, I'm like, good man. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after seeing that. <laughs> yeah. Sweat and bullets. <laughs> so, uh, how are you feeling, Nick? I'd forgotten what this felt like up until now. Huh? The butterflies in my stomach and tension so thick that you could slice it with a knife. All of these feelings. These are all feelings that I'm definitely familiar with. Anyway. You're going to die at age 30, Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's already 31. He's a ghost! <laughs> oh my god! And we're here to fight for a spell and get her out of this place. That's right! The court is now in session for the trial of Espella Cantabella. Defender. Yes, Your Honor? Yours is a face I've not seen in any past trials. But no matter. Start by stating your name, Defender. Yes, Your Honor. My name is Phoenix Wright, Ace Baker. A baker? <laughs> I asked him to come, my lord. I want him to represent me. This court dictates that the accused is free to assign a defender of their choosing, my lord. Hmm, very well. At any rate, the results of this trial shall not change. That aside, I've not yet seen hide nor hair of the Inquisitor assigned to this trial. Inquisitor? Oh, right. I should have noticed earlier. No one's there. Should the assigned Inquisitor fail to appear in court, I will have no choice but to dismiss all charges. He is an Inquisitor of high caliber, but if he does not come forward soon, this trial will end, and victory will then be declared in favor of this baker. Hold it! 
I love the theme song of this guy. It's the orange haired guy that's on the one slate. Yep. Okay, you feeny right wannabe. Knights of the court, I have but one question for you both. Are you prepared to cross swords? I'm sorry, that's a little forward. <laughs> I, Inquisitor Zacharias Barnum, am indeed prepared to do battle, my lord. Something amiss, Baker? I have no sword. And I must Sorry, scream. Your Honor, I just didn't realize we could have swords here in the courtroom. Ah! It is the way of the court knight. A knight must always ensure that he rides with a blade at his side. Should should Feeny have brought a loaf? Can I get? Your name. <laughs> Blue knight. Huh? My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a baker. How many times will you make me say it? A baker? Got him. Nick, quit with the long face. You look miserable. No need to waste your breath. This trial will be over before you can utter a single objection. For the security of all of Labyrinthia, my blade shall rend your defenses swiftly and without mercy. That's it, Barnum put another one out of their misery. Cringe lords. <laughs> this trial is pointless. Hand down the verdict already. Put that doughy defender on trial too, I say. Oh boy, what's with all this excitement? You'd hardly think this was a courtroom. Yeah, I mean, it's and with that, compared to others so far, <laughs> uh, they don't they don't ask for him to die immediately. Uh, uh, that is an <laughs> outlier. And with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you all for joining, and see you next time. Bye bye. Toodaloo.